Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow where we are here in Hlanuk with Halvarad and let's see what he has to say. I have bad news. We have found Ergothorn. He is dead. Oh boy. One of the scouts of the Okluth found Ergothorn's body this morning. His body was hidden behind the fall of rocks in the southern edge of the Coob. I think that he was ambushed from hiding, as Wadu was, though it is strange he had not been slain by a sword, arrow, or bolt. He was killed by a hand, the life choked out of him. For now, his body is being kept in the Hall of Making to the northeast. You should examine the body and see if we can learn anything more of his fate. How do they know this is Ergothorn? Did he have some sort of idea on him or something? I don't know. Let's go and find out. I think that this is the body right here. It is as Halbred described. The man is wearing armor of Gondor and has no sword wounds on his body, but he is dead. Hmm, there's also a parchment here. To the Rangers. I guess this is some evidence that this is Egothorn. The dwarf has already told you your foe much, and I fear that it is be enough to endanger not just your errand, but the delicate situation in Dunland as well. Things are not as he thought they were, but they soon will be. He has been slowed by the uncertainty concerning the errand of your company, but not stopped. They who swore the oath to Isildur at Erech, you know of them, of their home beneath the Dwemerberg, but you do not know the some number of them sought to flee their curse and came to hide in a place called the Forsaken Road among the Lich Bluffs. If they should be made to fulfill their oath, do your chieftains forbearers as might not be lost. All might not, yes. Not all remember the old ways, but I do. For Ithil that was lost, and for all that was forgotten, I remain Ergothorn. Ergothorn. All right. Now, I suppose we should go and inform Halvorad. I found this letter on the body. He was unable to deliver that letter in life. He has done so in death. I know not who set upon him in the wilderness, far from safety, but I believe it is the foe of which he speaks, or an agent of the enemy. I believe now that Ergothorn's enemy is our enemy as well. But now, at last, it's become clear. Whoever killed Ergothorn can move swiftly and strike without warning but chooses to use neither sword nor bow. If this mysterious foe can move about without the knowledge of his prey, he may have overheard our conversation. If he too speaks with Nar, there could, could be the source of the dwarf's information, but twisted into a form unbeknownst to Nar himself. And it all comes back to the Oathbreakers. Is Ergothorn right? Could they be compelled to fulfill their oath? If we can learn from this possible with, within the Forsaken Road, that will be a great boon to our Aragorn. Speak with Radonir at our campsite in the Grove of Trees east of Hwanuk. Tell him what that I want his to investigate. Okay, let us go and investigate the Lich Bluffs. Halbert asked us to investigate the Forsaken Road. Halberon's wishes are my own as well. We will walk the Forsaken Road and see what lies within. Death most likely. Death. We must learn if Aragorn can compel the Oathbreakers to fulfill their oath. If Ergothorn is right, a number of Oathbreakers fled from the Dwimmerberg after Isildur cursed them and left Gondor. They traveled through the trackless wilderness seeking to escape their curse, and came at last to the Lich Bluffs. Did they find what they sought, or did they come to realize that there was no escaping their curse? 
I don't know. But if we can find the Forsaken Road where the group finally remained, we may learn something to our advantage. We may learn if Aragorn can compel them to fulfill their oath. I've spoken with Rode, the scout who found Ergothorn's body. He knows where the entrance to the Forsaken Road is and will show us the way. Talk to me when you're ready and I will assemble a group of rangers to investigate. All right, then let us head out to the Forsaken Road. We have come to walk the Forsaken Road, but a group of Oathbreakers sought to escape their curse. Is it possible that Aragorn might compel them to fulfill their oath? We seek to learn if it is so. We seek to learn if it is so. Can I seek to learn if I've got any... Hope tokens? So I think I'm going to be needing them in this instance. This is an evil place, Pine Lore, and the dread of it lies like a cloud upon my limbs. It's so cold. I should think that I would never be warm again. This is a place of the dead, kept by them throughout the long years. Will they rally to Aragorn's cause? We will learn if that be so. Stand alert! The men that seek must labor still under Isildur's curse. What's ceaseless to them? Hold on! Their presence is near. Oh, now you talk slowly. Show yourself! How about that? Who dares disturb this place? Who dares to venture where only the dead may walk? The living may not pass. This road is not for you. Turn back! Turn back while you still have the power to do so. Only the dead may walk this forsaken road. Hmm. Uh, another one. Another. More, 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 more. Come, my brothers, see to these wayward children. Who dares to disturb the restless dead? I dare! And what is that to us? Why should the dead care who you are? Why? Because my chieftain is the heir to him to whom you took your oath. Stay on your guard, Pine Lore. These men are without honor. We are here to listen to their words, but we must remain cautious. Do you acknowledge the right of a sealer's heir to hold you to your oath? You have not been judged worthy of speaking, weak child. If you can defeat me, perhaps Frithu will listen to your claim. Well, I guess we'll find out. Is everyone alright? Eh, fine. Didn't even scratch me. You see now our strength? We are not to be trifled with, uh, Myronir. <laughs> you can't defeat me! I, hear, I know some goblins who keep on saying that. There you go. Well? Have you had enough? Your honor is gone, and only my chieftain can return it to you. That remains to be seen, worn blood. Hmm? The Dunedain and their allies will not be cowed by the likeness of you, Oathbreaker. I desist, Dunedain. For now. 
You fight passing well, my for a child. Erto will want to speak with you. Brittle always wants to speak with those who brave this road. And keep that chasm to your right, and you will find him. Child indeed. Uh, with grief. I mean, really, do I look like a member of the Children of the Light? Oh, maybe means something else by that. Alright, now let's go to here. Around here. Okay, this is it. Alright, where is... Ah! Here we go. It was unwise of you to come here, warm bloods. This place belongs to the dead, who do not rest. And all your kind who stray here shall perish. Well? Let's find out about that. All who stay here belong to the dead. You came to this place to escape your curse, Breto, and you brought these men with you. But there's no escape, and you will never know uh, peace until you fulfill your oath. I will consider what you have said. This seems to be a good sign, Pine Lore. If the Oathbreakers will fulfill their oaths to Isildur, we will command an army the like of which has never been seen in Middle-earth. Surely victory will not be far behind. Yes, I will consider it, but only if you can defeat. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that sounds like... That sounds like par for the course here. There you go. Witness the strength of the Dunedain and their allies. Yes, I am filled with fear of you. Perhaps these others will do. Oopsie daisy. Alright, there you go. Oopsie daisy. Are we done? Bretu, enough of this. We need prove nothing to you. I think you do. Ah. There you go. Oh. oh, you're behind me, I guess. Well, what now? We did not come here to entertain your cases, whims, you breaker. Ah, and yet you do it so admirably. <laughs> oh boy. Rude. All right. There you go. End this, Bratel. I command you to end this. I need not listen to your commands, warm blood. Ah. There you go. Anyone else? Next you. Oh, you're left. Hold! I have the authority to command you and all of your kind, Brittal. For I, I am the heir of Isildur. Uh-oh. What evidence do you have of this? Only this, the Ring of Barahir, heirloom of Isildur's line. I see. We will fulfill our oath at last to the heir that may lift the curse. Tell your men. Oh, but that's not the ring of Barahir. And you're not the heir of Isildur. Uh-oh. Okay, time to get out of here. He, he saw through that ruse. Oops, Daisy. I, I went the wrong way. <laughs> okay. You want to go? Oh, this way. There you go. 
Uh, through here. Oh, uh, through. Might as well throw a little bit of a fireball here. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. Uh, they're quiet for a little while. Now, it used to be a lot worse when he came through here. And if I remember correctly, a lot more difficult to actually avoid it because it's just, well, I could technically. Why don't I ever remember to put that up before they stun me? Oh well. I mean, it would make things a whole lot easier if I did. Alright. Are we done? Okay, good. Up and around. Oh, okay. What happened? All of a sudden, the oath breakers fell upon us, and we have only driven them off for a moment. We have to get out of here. Yep, we need to get out of here. That was tragic. We knew there would be hardship on our road, but to happen so soon. <sighs> yes. Go to Coroner and tell him we are done with Sudragan and done with Nar. It is time that we made ready to leave once and for all. And I want every ranger raid to depart. We have lost too many of our numbers to foolish detours. Enough! Go to Zrudagon and tell Cornier that it is done. We ride at first light. I do not care what Nor may know, or of what Ergot thought was afraid. I thought that we could have some secret, some new wisdom that would be of use to Aragorn when we came to him in Rohan, but I was wrong. There is no secret weapon, no easy victory. Go to Cornir and tell him that we are close to Zygurdun and be done with Nar. Alright, we are, we are done with everything on there. Well, let's see what Cornir has to say. I have a message from Halbarad. He says that we are leaving at first light. I will follow Halbarad's orders, but I will not leave until I have some answers. After the disaster of the Forsaken Road, I strode through the coom and collected the ingredients for the strange smelling brew, Kibaluz, and Nijanamundu, and Huwatoshuz. Hrithgar did not want to, but at the end I gave him no choice, and he has brewed the drink, and I have given it to Nar. Hurry, now go to Nar and ask him once again how he knows of the Oathbreakers. Ask him how he knows the words of the Elrond concerning the paths of the dead. Ask him why my friends are dead. Go, Pinelor. We will leave Zygurgon, but first, I want to know why all this had to happen. Alright. Let's go and speak to Nar. See what he has to say. First, we've got to find... Ah! Here he is, right over here. Hello, Nar. How do you know about Elrond's words? I did not know the words of Elrond were a secret. My friend knew of them. Yes, and my friend spoke at length concerning the futility of traversing the paths of the dead. Nar breathes deeply with a strange-smelling brew, and he smiles quizzically at you. He, he sees much, and perhaps should have remained hidden. It's true, but when he speaks of things, I confess, it seems foolhardy to disagree or debate with it. He has a curious way about him, and his friend I met in the mines. I thought it strange to see him there, but he said had Erlo brought him down. Mm. But that's odd. Um, Herluf went south into Zigu Yabal and hasn't been here for years. I wonder when he let my friend into the mines. Uh, he, I guess he couldn't have. Yeah, right. So, who did you meet in the mines? Why, Saruman the White, of course. I thought you knew. Oh, yes, Saruman has long been a friend of my family, of course. He is the very wisest of the wise. Is that not so? And I agree, of course. 
There must have been some mistake. Simon has always been a friend of the dwarves, and though the years he has told us a great deal that would otherwise remain hidden. Oh, good grief. Really? The distant expression of Nar usually wears and has been replaced by the shrewd glare. He is under the effect the effect of the strange smelling brew, but the clarity may not last for long. Right. Anything else you gotta say? What exactly did you tell Saruman? He was very interested in the rangers, of course. He is also interested in the Dunleydeans who live nearby. He wanted any maps of the cave system of the dwarf mines that I could bring him from the library. That's why he was going through various places in the library. He said that he was trying to protect the Dunedain from a massive gathering of Uruks, and so he was. You saw the group that attacked us here. Oh, boy. Uh, Coroner. It appears that Nara got his information from Saruman. I cannot believe this. We have played right into Saruman's hands. This stage of our journey, this investigation into the mystery posed by Nar is over. Halbred is right. The next stage of our journey will take us south into Dunland, likely towards war and danger, right beneath the shadow of our enemy. But it does not matter. What matters is that we journey. For good or ill, the Grey Company will continue on its road. This detour means our enemy knows that we are coming. We must hope that he doesn't know why, but if he does, perhaps that knowledge will cause him to make a mistake, to make some error that he will regret. Our friends have perished. Our hope for the future must not die with him. The Great Company will ride again, and soon. You will come with us, if you still wish to. I would not blame you for changing your mind, for the road will be hard. Well, let's see. Which, which of these is best for me? I guess uh, this one. Ooh, nice. So, back to Hlanuk? We have delayed too long already. I am ready to go. Return to Halbright and Hlanuk, and we will decide how best to proceed south into Dunland. We shall leave this place behind, and none too soon. If we had left earlier, we could have left with Kandate and my fallen brothers, and not without them. Then we will return to Hlanuk and speak with Halbrad when we return for the next episode of Lore of the Shadow.